All right, everyone, today we have the Apple Watch Series 3. This is gonna be a quick seven minute or less video describing whether or not it is worth the upgrade if you have an Apple Watch Series 2, whether you have an Apple Watch Series 1, and what are kind of some of the differences slash benefits that you'll receive from getting the newer version. So this is gonna be a quick video describing just that. So the Apple Watch Series 3, quietly debuted with one very big difference from its predecessor, which is it has the optional LTE compatibility, meaning you can pay for this just like you would a tablet or whatever on your mobile device. And what that is going to do is allow you to make calls and receive calls just from your watch. So that was the biggest difference going on in this watch versus the other generations obviously there is little differences here and there that you know can and may make a difference um, but more or less the biggest difference was the LTE now they did change a very little bit of the size on the watch um, honestly I didn't even notice the thickness of the watch changed I guess it's very minute because it has the new altimeter as well as the LTE chip and um, really that's the main difference so this is the GPS only version meaning that if I go for a run or whatever you know it tracks my route it uh, tells me the breakdown of that the new watch also has you know a little more storage it has a little bit better chipset you know so it's gonna be just a little bit faster than the series one is and um, even when you go look on apple.com uh, you look at the different watches there really isn't uh, a lot going on they don't even tell you about series 2 anymore you know series 2 kind of is just gone and really series 2 was kind of an intermediary sort of step for apple watch you know now the series 3 is water resistant up to 50 meters I mean you can go swimming with it you can go in the shower with it things like that with the original series 1 is just splash resistant meaning you were just uh, you know get your hands wet or whatever it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference so you know that obviously splash resistance is a welcome difference for me at least because I know you know I like to know what time it is if I go swimming or things like that but the general gist of this Apple watch stayed the same I mean you have the rotating bezel to, for your navigation and things like that you have your side button there to go back and forth recents things like that um, being that I had the GPS only version, I have the composite back on uh, for the glass where the actual LTE version now has, the LTE version actually has a ceramic back versus, like I said, this one has the composite back. So that's a little nicer if you get the LTE version. Other than that, the LTE version compared to the GPS only version is marginal. You have uh, 16 gigabytes of storage on the LTE version where this one only has eight. So what that means is you can drop in some music, um, you can connect your AirPods to this watch, and then just take this on your run with you rather than uh, having to bring your phone or you know wear an armband or whatever. You know, it makes it a little nicer. And as far as that, you know, they did say that the battery was supposed to get better with the new chips, all that stuff that comes with the year or two of worth of upgrades. It has, still has the magnetic charging. They are saying that coming up in the uh, future few months especially with the iPhone X release with the wireless charging that they are releasing a power mat where you can charge your Apple watch a new AirPods case and your iPhone all together so that's kind of cool but that, you know that's really not a deal breaker it's so really when it comes down to it you know this watch isn't much different you wouldn't be able to tell from first glance that this watch is a series 3 difference being on a series 3 LTE watch this digital crown has a red dot in it and that's the LTE version. Uh, the GPS does not have that. That is really the main difference. Um, you still have a, the heart rate sensor, accelerometer, gyroscope, you know, the Siri talks, you have Apple Pay on this watch. It's not a whole lot different, you know, as far as functionality wise. The biggest thing, which is, a, you know, a rather key feature is the LTE functionality. And uh, that, you know, can be a deal breaker for a lot of people. And I think it's a good addition for people who want to um, really just use their watch as a phone when they're going out and about, go for a run, jog, swim, whatever, you can still make and receive calls and things like that. So that's, you know, that's pretty nifty, but would you really want to spend 10 extra dollars a month 
to have your watch on your data plan, you know, I mean, that's definitely up to you. But um, really, it's a great watch. You know, I've had the Series 2. You know, that was fine too, but really I like the water resistance. Series 1 obviously was the first step for Apple into the wearable market and they did a good job. Obviously, I would say the Series 3 is better. There might be some good deals this coming Black Friday, which is in a week. Um, you can snag one on a discount and if you have a Series 1, I would absolutely say if you enjoy the watch to grab a Series 3. And of course, if you want the LTE, you know, grab that too. But um, if you have a Series 2, and you're really looking for that either, you know, altimeter, which measures elevation. So it tells you, you know, how many floors and whatnot you go up. Um, yeah, I mean, grab it. That's, you know, that could be a cool feature for you. Or like I said, if you have LTE and you want to add it to your mobile plan, uh, that's also, you know, obviously a huge benefit. Again, if you want to spend the money to add it to your plan. So um, verdict, if you have a Series 1 and you want to get a, hopefully get a discount on Black Friday and get a Series 3, good to go. If you have a Series 2 and really don't care about LTE functionality or anything like that, stick with what you got and wait until next year. Maybe something else bigger will happen. So <clears throat> this is the Apple Watch Series 3 in 7 minutes or less. I'm Jared from TechWorks and I hope to see you again in another video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we got a few videos up on the channel now. Uh, I want to do another video on the iPhone X with little shortcuts and things. I know I haven't gotten around to that and my other review was kind of long. So I'm going to do a short one on that next week and uh, I'll see you then.